In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a test suite. For this, let's click on the Home button and then let's go into the Quality module. I'm now in the Quality module and you can see I'm in the tab Tests and that's where also I'm going to create my test suite. You can see here I have a plus and you can see Manual Test. In my case, I would like not to create a manual test, but a test suite. So I just go in the drop down and click test suite. This will open a new window where I can just define a name. I'm not going to be very creative here and just say test suite demo. I can um, um, define what kind of test type it is, what backlog coverage, um, and then the assignment to, the, uh, to one or more application modules, descriptions. I can also have additional fields down here which I can customize through um, a customize fields button up here. Let me now click on add and edit to bring some content into my test suite. And I have two ways to do that. I have the ability to create manual tests directly in my test suite, or I can click on add existing tests. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to add existing tests. I would like to quickly to refer to the total tests that are available. I have here 143, which is not a big amount. So if you are in production, because this is only a demo environment, please be aware that um, you have a very strong filtering capabilities up here to select um, um, you know, all the fields that are available to filter on it. And you can also use here the, the magnifying glass to just add, for example, login or a, a text to filter. Um, 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 and to find the test you would like to add to your test suite. So don't worry about many test cases. You have strong filter capabilities that will help you with that. If I just click Add, um, I can remove the filter again. It has added now this one test I have um, um, selected beforehand. I will now add some more um, um, just out of the, the, the available here I have, and I say Add and Close, and then it will add all these tests to my um, uh, test suite. Um, and there is one more thing I would like to quickly share with you. You can always turn off tests in a test suite that you think are not relevant for the next run. That's a, a pretty nice feature, I would say, to, so you, you can also um, um, uh, reduce the effort for a tester um, um, if you think there are some tests which are not uh, relevant um, in this run. Now let me make this, for example, verify search my account. I will do that. I see here I have an, an acceptance test and I have a sanity test. Maybe it's even a similar case. Let me just remove one of those. And I'm going to quickly share with you and also how to run such a, a test suite and how it looks like. So I click on Run Suite, so that will be directly executing the suite. And for me, it's just to show you how that will look like. Okay, so let me do that. Run Test Suite Demo. Okay, it will open um, uh, the window uh, with a running, uh, with a suite run. And you can see the name of the suite run. And you can see how many tests I have. I have four tests. Remember, if I quickly show that to you on here, I have here five tests, but one I have removed. So this one is not in my um, suite run now. Okay. Now I have, um, I'm going to going through it. I'm going to say, okay, this is um, passed. And you can see the first validation in the first test has passed and automatically the whole, um, because there's only one validation step has um, um, moved to passed. I can go now to the second one. Here I have 30 steps. Um, let me just say, um, I'm going to skip that. Um, I'm going to the next one. I'm here I'm going to say that it failed uh, for whatever reason. And the last one, I'm going just to say, okay, it's passed. I can do that on every single um, validation step or I can just do it on the top as well. Now you can see my four steps, um, my four um, tests have um, completed. Um, and I still have the possibility here also to give an overall um, um, uh, uh, message on uh, what is it? Is it uh, skip, locked, failed overall, or passed overall? Um, um, so I can still define here also on that level um, uh, what it is. Let me make it um, nicer and say it's passed, and I will just stop it from here. And what I will see here now in the suite runs, I will see my execution. Okay, uh, looks now all green uh, because I just said overall it's passed. 
I can um, um, also not define a status there in progress and keep it um, as a work in progress if there are elements which uh, failed. Typically here, if I click um, on then on the detail of the suite run, I'm not in the test suite anymore. Um, I was in the test suite, so you can see the traceability. Uh, but now I'm in the suite run, and I can see what I did. I had one passed, one skipped, one failed, and one passed. There's also a report section, which I'm not going to explain further here, but that will also give you some information about what happened um, in your um, test suite run. Um, for each test, it will show exactly what happened. That's it for now. Um, I wanted to show with you how to create a test suite. We have quickly made an execution to get the first feeling of the um, um, uh, of the way on the way on how um, Octane will show it in the execution uh, view. Um, that's it, and thank you for listening.